Hey everyone, I'm Casey Palmer and I'm the PEP Commissioner at Dana Hills High School. And I'm Jolie Donahue, the PEP Deputy at Dana Hills High School. Welcome to our Meet the Pros video. And unfortunately, due to these circumstances, PEP rallies are going to look a lot less like this. But we have a way that you can still stay connected with your school without large gatherings. This can be implemented no matter what situation we're in, whether we're back in school or back to distance learning. Here at Dana, we have come up with the idea of a virtual pep rally that can be presented through a pre-recorded video or a live stream. Teachers can play this during class, homeroom, or tutorial. This is your virtual rally. You might be wondering, what can I possibly put in a virtual pep rally? For starters, you can still use host to announce what will be happening during the pep rally and to keep students engaged. At our school, one thing that most students look forward to are the games. Here are some virtual games you can put into your rally. You can live stream Mario Kart. You can also live stream Minecraft. You can also play a Kahoot with your students on old school trivia. You can even pick out a couple of students to compete for a prize. The next thing you can include in your virtual rally is sports updates. Because it is a possibility that spectators may be limited or cut off completely in the fall, it is very important to keep your student body updated with highlight videos or announcements. In addition to sports, other school announcements are a good addition to your rally as well. This could be an upcoming event that your ASV is trying to promote or news from other staff members. Lastly, a great way to keep students engaged in your virtual rally could be to present a video of your dance team or pep squad performing. Before we wrap up this video, here are a couple tips that your school can use to make your pep rally as fun as possible. Some things to include are online games, school and sports announcements, and pre-recorded performances. Make sure to keep your rally short and to the point. It should be between 10 and 15 minutes. Test the video beforehand to make sure no problems arise and figure out what time works best for your teachers. Also, make sure to make it easily accessible. Advertise your event if it is being live streamed at home. And check the link in description to see how our first virtual rally went at Dana. Thank you everyone for watching. I hope this gave you a good idea on how to plan your first virtual rally. Stay safe.